The Legend of Zelda. A series that is amazing and has spawned so many, but we're not so to talk about the many great games. Now. Nope, we're here to talk about bootleg games. Games that aren't even known or recognized by the people who made the original content. And some of them are kind of weird. Starting with this game, which I don't think has a title, or I don't know the title, because it's in Japanese, and I don't quite know any Japanese. So, this game is pretty much the NES equivalent of the Minish Cap, which I have beaten, and I can assure it for you 100% that this is not the Minish Cap. For starters, the game has a weird RPG approach, so it's more or less like a Dungeon Hunters game than a Zelda game. And, and the game is really like puzzle centric. Like this because I cannot read any Japanese. Once upon a time, there was a tree, and that tree was a Zelda tree, since it had more than one tree, as you can tell, and it kind of has the Triforce on it. No, it doesn't. As you can tell by that story, we are looking for a tree, I guess, even though I can't read anything that's going on. But that's pretty cool. I mean, all the houses look the same, but... The really bad thing about this game is, I don't know, the player models, I guess, don't really look all that good, but... Oh well, I'll give it a pass. It's the any. Oh man, that face. What is it with this face? It just stares at you and lets you realize all of your hidden insecurities. It's scary. But some good things about this game is that it actually has a pretty good game map, I mean, for the NES. And, I mean, it actually has a story, I just have absolutely no clue what it says. And some of the puzzles are actually fun. And, but, other than that, it's still kind of, you know. Next! This next game is actually a NES game that is also in Japanese that I can't read. But oh well. You guys are really gonna like this, because of its content that it's based off. Pretty much this game is a carbon copy of A Link to the Past. Want proof? Alrighty then, let's go. Dang, you're greeted by Zelda, and you're in your bed. And it's dark. And you enter the castle by going to the right and throwing the bush. You find your uncle, who is not purple anymore, and he dies. But not after giving you a lengthy cutscene, sort of, and then giving you a sword. In fact, the only custom thing that I see out of this whole game is the item menu. But even that is kinda close. Though it is kind of cool to see what the game would have looked like if it had have come out back in the day on the NES. Enough about me, which is pretty cool. Hacks. Here's one that turns the entirety of Ocarina of Time into a giant Minecraft game, which is really, really cool, and you can see that a lot of work was put into this. I mean, everything is retextured the grass, the sand, even the water. It's insane. In fact, even. The attacks and animation for attacks and everything to do with your attacks and items and everything like that is fully animated to look like Minecraft. It is really, really cool. What does happen though is if you open the pause menu it crashes, but every now and then it'll fix itself, which will reveal <gasps> that literally nothing has changed in the item menu. Which is perfectly fine by me, it's just your character. Oh no. Though it is pretty cool to see the entire world Minecraftified, it really doesn't really do much for the overall everything else, but it is still a pretty cool mod slash hack. Good news guys, this one's actually in English and it's called The Legend of Zelda Outlands, which is pretty cool because this game apparently is a ROM hack that is a direct follow-up to Zelda 2, and it actually has a story, which I will now dramatically read. <clears throat> After Zelda was awakened, the strange creature that Link battled in the Great Palace attacked and took the Triforce of Power. The Tetrarch fairies have been searching for Taken. Eight fairies must unseal Ganon's vault. Here lies the monster who lives to destroy the Thunderbird, Link. Save Hyrule. 
As you can see, this game actually has a story. This just might be the actually good game in this list. Or as I like to call it, the actually good Zelda 2. Hey hey! Just kidding, Zelda 2 is alright. But anyway, this game is sweet. It has new items, new everything. The graphics are better, the game is pretty much refurbished. Everything is new, not a single thing is used from the old one. But there is one thing that I kind of don't like about this game. During the first dungeon, if you just randomly walk around, Zelda just show up and be like, oh, Hey, it's me, found your sword, cool, bye. And even funnier, you can actually hit her, and it won't do a single thing. And I would say that this game is actually pretty difficult, and that people will die over and over and over if they play this game. But it is really fun. Another thing is the shops, because in the shops is... Dude, that, 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 that's my car! What, 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 what are you...